I received an email message from somebody I don't know, as happens very frequently. In this particular case, of course, his name is Bill. The subject line is Man vs. Hansen Aerosols. <laughs> Bill writes, a draft study led by Columbia University climate scientist James Hansen suggests that the recent rise in temperatures doesn't come from greenhouse gases at all, but from the reduction in sulfate aerosols since the early 2000s. Quote, for decades this area has been kept relatively cool by sulfur emissions from ships, end quote, climate entrepreneur Leon Simons wrote on Twitter. And then there's a link to the paper, which has 17 authors and it's 62 pages long. So it's quite a detailed investigation at the issue. It's, it's called Global Warming in the Pipeline. Professor James E. Hansen is the lead author. Michael Mann responded via tweet on Twitter. Quote, I have nothing but respect and reverence for Hansen, but I think he is wrong on this one. End quote. Wow. So we have a 62-page paper written by 17 scholars indicating, with reference to abundant peer-reviewed literature, that aerosols matter and that they're responsible for much of the heating in the last two decades. And then we have the lion Michael Mann, who proposes his opinion on Twitter, says he disagrees. Huh. This is a tough call, but I think I'm going to go with Hanson and 16 co-authors on this one. In fact, here's what I wrote to Bill. I'll take Hanson's perspective over that of the lying Michael Mann every time. Thanks for sharing, guy. Wow. I'd like to say more horrible things, but that's all that comes to mind right now. Besides which, at the edge of extinction, only love remains. <laughs>